Oh, I don't know if this was a good idea at all. Hey y'all, it's Eliza. Welcome back to my channel. Just admiring the sounds of this creaking old ship as it moves in the wind and the rain. I love the atmospheric sound in this game. It's fantastic. But I think it's time to head inside now before my radiation sickness comes back. Sadly, Out of curiosity, are there any lights out there in the wasteland? Not really that I can see from here. I suppose if you had lights, you wouldn't let them burn all night. Good way to call attention to yourself that you don't want. So in the last episode, we really uh, started to explore Rivet City, um, the upper decks in any case. What I'd like to do in this episode is check out more of what's below deck. Um, I don't have a really good sense of the layout of the ship yet, but um, I suppose it's not technically necessary. Now, what's happening here? Is this possibly, is this the Cantrellis or I don't really recognize people at a distance yet. Hello. God bless you. Oh, it's Diego, the hot priest. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. Well, he does seem nice. St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. Of course, yes. She the is now the patron mother of saint of Augustine. lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to I'm church not on Sunday I just mornings. Read the sermon Augustine. will be all about St. Monica. That's okay. Well, that makes a bit more sense now. Um, oh, should we tell him? Should we tell him? I don't feel like we should disturb this nice man, but hang on. God bless you. Hang on. Let me see. Is this Angela here? The Meyerlurks have been quiet lately. It is. Han, what, what are you doing with the knife? Yes, ma'am. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'd feel better about well, telling one of us is. Sometimes Diego if she didn't have a knife in her hand. <laughs> Especially if he was a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. Mm -hmm. Later. Well, okay, this could go badly, but... Um, it's late. We should go home, Angela. Diego, do you think I'm sexy? I mean, if you weren't a priest and everything, would you be turned on by okay, me? Kind of an well, inappropriate uh, question. Sure. You are incredibly sexy. Not that I've noticed. Oh my I am gosh. Going to be a priest, and they don't. Uh, well, you know. Okay, he's going to be a priest. He's not yet. In any case, really, I don't know about this. I mean, this could just be ham-handed video game writing, but come on. If somebody is professing a vocation, you don't. <sighs> but. It is, of course, implied that he's leading her on. So nobody's doing the right he thing here. Not that they really have any good models of relationships after 200 years of societal collapse. Ah, I will. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. Gars has got it figured out, though. <laughs> or so it seems. So somewhere in here, there are Mire Lurks. Now, I'm all turned around, so I don't know... If we are Bower Stern. Oh, they've got a baseball field. That's cool. I wonder what they did for fun around here. It's not like there's a shuffleboard court. Although there could be. I mean, it didn't take much to set one up. Anyhow, okay. Back inside. Back inside. But very interesting ah, dynamics going on here. Hello. 
I don't know. I guess Good I support this because obviously he is not immune. God bless you and keep you safe. And there's no reason that. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. Do you want to, or do you think you have to? Um. He doesn't seem to really want to. Father Clifford says oh, yeah, she no. is my okay. trial. No, we don't my go for that. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. <laughs> okay, well, just because there's God only one game in town doesn't mean you can't choose a middle ground, Diego. Sorry. I'm getting a little too Protestant in here. Um... Not that the Protestants are middle ground in it or anything. Anyhow, no more religion. Sorry. <laughs> Back to the flight deck. Okay, heading downstairs. Um, I would like to... I think we walked through the Weatherly Hotel. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning I'd like to see some of these other locations. I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't like... Whoa. <laughs> Not very good at stairs. Um, so, is this... I think this is where we first came in. In which case... I'm probably going to speed this part up. Oh, Bannon's door. He's awake. Nope. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Goodbye. Okay. There was some yeah, sort this of is battle in the city yesterday. What we the walked gate past. Guard said the gunfire went on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old Vivid City. Hmm. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Okay, I don't really want to steal from the hotel, but who's this? Welcome to the Weatherly, Mr. Buckingham, at your service. <laughs> this is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the finest establishment in Rivet City. Oh, I almost clicked the rude one. Oh, the mere one hundred and twenty. Is that pounds. all? No, thank you. Very good, madam. Please, place. Oh, so we have some things. What's a punga fruit? Yum yum deviled eggs. If they come in a box, how yum yum are they? No thanks. I think I'm good. Uh, just curious. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> he sounds a little perturbed with me. Oh, okay, so this is, yes, this is the Weatherly Hotel. This is where Vera lives as well. Oh, good, she's awake. Let's see if she had anything more to say about Welcome back, Brian. But she doesn't. Okay. That's Farewell. Right. Vera, I know I'm not a sophisticated man. Wait, what? I am a man. Can take care of Wait, you. what? I don't need anyone to take care of me, Seagrave. But Ooh. I do like being your friend. Just your friend. Later. Oh. Uh wait, -huh. wait, wait. I was like, there wasn't anybody else in. That's fascinating. So it was like. How are they talking? Is he like through the wall or something? But anyway, interesting. So, Seagrave. Hmm. Is he like through this door or something? Need a skill of 100. Nice day, huh? That's interesting. The door is blocked off with these lockers. 
Oh, hey, secret. The shop's closed right now. Is there anything else I can do for you? I wonder. Oh, it's too bad we can't ask him about Vera. See you later. He'd make a nice dad for Brian. Hmm, auto saving. What's this? Yes. Oh gosh. Hi. <laughs> Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. He looks awful. He really shouldn't be taking that, but my wife, Cindy, she's always watching the inventory. If I take any, she'll lock me out. Hmm. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. So they have some reused dialogue. Yeah, me too. But, uh... Make it quick, will ya? I'm coming down and I gotta get my fix. Oh my gosh, that's sad. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Doesn't seem to be anything... Yeah, me too. ...you can do. I mean, I... Give him some. I think I actually have some, but I don't really want to. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. What? I just dropped some. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to flash that in front of you, Polly. That was rude. Um. Oh. Lockpick skill of 75. Five. I know I don't have that, but what do I have? I have 35. Okay, that'll be a while. I wonder Wanna if that's... Do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho? I really don't. Thank you, though. Um, you have fun. Uh, I wonder if that's like his stash location. Whoops. Okay. Obviously, there's nothing in it. And if that is the case, maybe he's got a, other things. Um, so, Staley, yes. it's like a bunk room, broken terminal, well that's not helpful, <laughs> dummy terminal inactive, wonder why they have that in there then. Um, his desks don't seem to have anything. I guess I could maybe borrow one of these cots, but they look like they have occupants. I don't think we've met her yet. Oh, that's James. And that must be his mom. Oops, I hit the mouse. Oh, there's Mr. Lopez. And Ted. Oh, this is unlocked for once. Quick saving before I go in there. Hello. Oh my gosh. Uh, hi. Hey, Polly. Oh, wow. Look where you're going. I'm sorry. Just uh, coming in here to see what you've got going on here oh my gosh yeah he's got he's got plenty of chems this is really sad it's like she's been using them too this is Good really uh, i'm glad you think so i feel very awkward at the moment and i shouldn't be here bye whoops Confused at the number of motorcycles that seem to be on this boat. None of them work. Um, and we've got another entrance to the science lab here. I don't want to go back in right now. Capital Preservation Society, the church, and one of the entrances to the marketplace. Oh, that's cool. That is super cool. I thought, so I thought when it said Capital Preservation Society, that was like a euphemism 
for some kind of, you know, mercenary force. <laughs> I guess I just assume everything is violent now. Um, but it is literally a, uh, like a, a museum. Oh, this is kind of sad, actually. That's, that's a little weird there, but, you know, statues, I guess. Sure, sure. Oh, it's like from the bus. Wow. Okay. I'll maybe come back and check these out a little bit more later, but it's over here. Oh, who's this? I don't know why I expect to find anybody awake now. It is 3.48 in the morning. Um, yeah, I can't think of any justification for actually waking them up and talking to them. So I'm not going to. But I'm going to eavesdrop a little. Hey, something I don't have to hack into for once. The society owns the only known copy of the document to exist, which was retrieved from the ruins of the National Archives in 2256. That's cool. Astonishingly intelligent. Okay, somebody is Lincoln Stan. Oh, okay, so it looks like divergence happened after Franklin Roosevelt, but not I'm still not clear on when exactly. Huh. China. Well, so they're indulging in a little bit of alternate history. Fantasizing. Very interesting. Um, what else do we have in here? Oops, did I knock that over by accident? I know I have a tendency to throw things around. Pulse grenades. I'm gonna steal from the museum. A little tempting, they're just lying there though. More bonds. Ooh, I can take the bottle cap mine. Now that's... That's valuable. I think I will. Thank you. Some super duper mart ads. It's like nothing's in those lockers. And everything else is owned. Okay, so I came in... Um, up there, and I think the only other door is Abraham Washington. Sounds like he identifies with his namesake quite a bit. I'll come back when it's Good to see you. morning, because I'm sure he has a lot to say for himself. And this, what is this? random. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this looks like a church and it sounds like that was Diego somewhere. Maybe over here. They must... whoops. Uh-oh. Diego, I think you're stuck. No, nope, he can walk through doors. He is holy. So... I suppose... If Father Clifford is... kind of emotionally blackmailing him into... Um, doing something he doesn't want to do with regard to 
committing to a vow of celibacy, I think it's fine for us to tell him that he can do something else with, else with his life. You. But... God bless you and keep you safe. But God I don't bless know. You. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> because people can make their own decisions. Yes, that's luck. And not yes, I can see you eyeing it. Diego, chill. I am not taking from the donation box. I was just looking at it. I swear. Now, I am interested in the empty whiskey bottle, the Medex, and the random book <laughs> that apparently have to do with um, preaching the word. Um, what time is it now? 5.45. Okay. He doesn't have anything else to say. Father Clifford should be up soon. Oh, there's Seagrave Home's door. Um, definitely when he wakes up, I want to check in there. Are small ruin books good for anything? Are they just for atmosphere? And that's back in the market. Ooh, haven't seen one of those yet. Okay, um, so where I want to go next is down to the Muddy Rudder Bar. Again with the motorcycles. Huh, I've got a bathroom with no stall doors, no mirrors, and no toilet paper. Grim, but realistic. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, no. I I was going to say, I hope that's rust. I really don't think it is. <laughs> they mentioned something about a um, bar fight in here. The, um, the conversation I was eavesdropping on in the Capital Preservation Society. So we've got someone. This is the Muddy Rudder. Cause any trouble, you'll have to deal with me. This is relatively neat. I'm Brock, the bouncer. I take care of the troublemakers. You aren't going to be a troublemaker, are you? Do I look like one? But please define. Starting fights, breaking stuff, stealing. Hmm. I think I'll keep a close eye on you. And the only thing I occasionally do Don't is break tell me your stuff. <laughs> um, what does Coming he have, up. though? Beer scotch stew. I love how Stimpax is part of the deal. Oh, um, actually, I think I probably should get a few. How many do I have at the moment? I only have six. So, that should do a me. pleasure doing business with you. You know where to find me. Thanks. Is that coffee? Wait, why aren't they selling coffee if they've got coffee? Maybe they're just out of the grounds. Um, okay, this is kind of cool, except for the blood on the floor and everything. With that, Oop. And we're going to have a problem. Okay, what do we have upstairs? Oh, okay, that's cool. It'd be neat if you could actually play this, but I doubt it. I bet I can use that cue as a weapon, though. Um, huh. what? Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know about this game sometimes. Okay, that goes back down. I want to see... Hi! You're a new one. I'm Belle Bonnie of the Muddy Rudder. Make it quick. Um... You must be drunk. Not yet. Are you gonna order or what? Okay, so she's actually got some information. What a moron. Always going on about how he started Rivet City. Who gives a crap? Right before I he might. disappeared, he was going on about some newfangled contraption he was sure was in the broken bow of the ship. Hmm. So, okay, so Pinkerton's interested in the bow. Myrlurks are interested in the bow, apparently. Ugh. Um, 
I think we have to go to the bow. Well, we're interested in Pinkerton, and so if he's there, then ugh, great. What else do we have? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. She's literally the only one. Okay. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. All right. Whoop! Oh, I just cut whacked with the door. Who's this? Oh, it's the lady from the, um, she was at the chem stall. Wonder if they're girlfriends. Okay. Jeez. Oh, I'm, I'm bad at doors. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Okay, same conversations. And it looks like, yes, most of the women have a knife, which, not a bad idea. And actually, in close quarters makes a lot more sense than the guns that the guys are carrying. Morning. Oh, you're pleasant. Hi, friend. Don't tell me your problems. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the ass. I think he's got some uh, mood instability uh, issues, perhaps. Um, okay, so marketplace should be opening up, but what I really want to do is. What I really want to do is crash, apparently. That's what I want to do. So there seems to be a bug that um, comes up in some people's games that you crash when you leave Rivet City. So give me one second to figure out how you fix that, or at least get around it. Okay, it took me a moment to get to a location that I recognized. Um, I tried to get to Friendship Tenley Town Station. And now we're back at Chevy Chase, and hopefully there's not an enemy out here so that I can fast travel. Hopefully. Good. Alright, so I'm safely back at Rivet City, outside, safely, um, while well, there's rad rain falling, but what I'd like to do is go and see... I don't have water for you, I'm sorry, sir. Please, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I should get into sneak and make sure there's nobody waiting to snipe us. No, there's not. Um, I'm going to go see if I can get into the bow portion of the ship. It looks like there's a walkway that leads to an entrance here. But as long as it's raining, I'm going to swim, because I may as well. Especially since, look at him. He's he's having a little weight as well. So I'm going to stay away from that. And I'm going to go over, hopefully without being seen by any of these, uh... Can I get out here? Oh. Ouch. No. How about here? There we go. Okay, back into sneak. Okay, is any super mutant watching me. So there's one, two, three, and I think there was a fourth over there. Yeah, so just a thought I was having. Um, hmm. Leah is probably not going to storm the Jefferson Memorial right away. Reasoning being, it's absolutely swarming with super mutants and obviously she knows her dad is probably inside i mean he may have moved on after doing whatever he needed to do he may be oh hold on what no okay so that's obviously not the door but there has to be another door doesn't there 
They wouldn't do that, would they? I mean, they would. But... There's a... Okay, there's probably... Let's see. In the broken end. There may be a broken open part. Wait. <laughs> okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Um, okay. Let me just finish my thought real quick before I... Yeah. Um, so, Super Mutants, too high of a level for us. We've taken on like one so far um, on our own. And then the, brother, the Brotherhood was there to back us up for the other... Um, but Leah is not going to storm a place that's got several outside, plus God knows what else inside. Especially given the fact that, you know, her dad is either safely barricaded inside or already dead. Obviously, she wants to get to him, but it's kind of out of her control. So that's the thinking at the moment. After this, I would like to get in through here and make sure I have a good weapon. Um, I think we had whoop, assault rifle. I think I have enough ammo. Yes, I have plenty. Okay. Um, but after this, oh gosh, okay. So I'm watching my meter. Okay. Oh, sheesh. Oh, sheesh. Oh, sheesh. Um. Oh, I don't know if this was a good idea at all. Stim packs. In me. then we'll see. Oh golly, there's two. There's two, there's two, there's two. Hang on. All right. Y'all, I'm beginning to think this might not have been the smartest move. Hmm. I'll be saving now. Okay, so I'm quite possibly stuck in a Mirelurk infested hellhole, which nobody could have predicted. I think that's a fantastic sign that I should end this episode here and hope you'll join me next time to see whether or not we get out of this alive or I have to reload and go back to um, Megaton with my tail between my legs. Anyhow, thanks so much for joining me. Hope y'all are having fun. Until next time, take care y'all. Bye-bye.